Hey YouTube, it's the day you've been waiting for. We're going to the aquarium. Just gotta get a ticket in a second. And then we're going in there to see some fish. I have no idea what's gonna be in here or you know how it's gonna be or anything, so we'll be surprised together. Okay, I'm gonna pause the camera and get my ticket and uh, be back in a little bit. Alright guys, we're entering the aquarium. I think we're the only ones here, which is awesome. It's a weekday morning and they just opened. Let's see what these cheesy Chinese theme parks are like. What do we have over here? Some kind of weird steampunk looking submarine a monitor the video of a shark oh I see some big fish nice alright I guess now we're inside some crazy research sub or something. Old timey steampunk looking stuff everywhere. And in the center, surrounded by fake Egypt pseudo Egyptian hieroglyphs, are these. I have no idea what kind of fish this is. Looks like they got three lateral spots. I assume these are ocean fish. I don't see a sign anywhere like it's telling their name. They're really pretty though. Oh man, look how big those fish are over there. Who's that down there? That's a different guy. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's different from all the other ones. Oh, there's another one that's different. I guess there's two of those in there. And then all the rest, maybe a male and a female, I don't know. If it's a sexually dimorphous species. Alright, let's go to the next one. What do we got over here? A dead lobster. <laughs> I assume that's dead. I hope it's dead. Otherwise, that's effed up. Oh, it probably wasn't dead. Oh man, China, when are you going to learn about animal cruelty? Starfish. Alright, here we go, some big boys. Again, I have no idea what these fish are. The water's like, it looks like it's being disturbed from up there. They must have some giant filter running or something. They look kind of like some kind of cichlid or something. I mean, from the fin shape, kind of like remind me of discus, but not very colorful or pretty. 
What do you call it? Because they have the fused dorsal fin and the anal fin like that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> we got these bigger guys down here. I don't know what they are either. Oh, he's coming in to check me out. She does not care about these ones. All right, let's keep moving. I only have so much memory. I don't know what the heck that is. <laughs> ocean, ocean robot ripoff of what was that movie? Metropolis, that old movie. Oh, uh, we have the other side of the. Tank. What's that little dude? You're pretty. Oh, look at you. So this looks like it's a, uh, I don't know, maybe 50 gallons, 60 gallons, has three fish in it. This dude is my favorite out of these three. He looks so cool. Look at that jaw, that lamp eye. Whoa, that's awesome. And two of these guys. All hardscape, white sand, probably salt water. I mean, these look like they're in decent condition. That one has a cyst on his side, I just saw. But their fins look okay. Like, I don't know. Honestly, it's fish this size should have a bigger tank, but I've seen worse. All right, let's go to the next one. In this tank, same size as the last one. Maybe 60 gallons or something. Actually, this one looks like it has more water in it. This one's probably like 70 gallons or something. Got one of those dudes. I saw those at the fish market the other day. Those are really cool looking fish. I don't know what they're called though. And then these two big guys down here. What's up, dude? It's pretty cool. Also don't know what it's called. And there's a bigger one there. I assume this is a pair. I don't know which one would be the male and which one would be the female, but... Their dorsal fins are weird. I've never seen fish with dorsal fins like that. They're like, I have a little mini one in the front that is clamped down and then like it disappears in the middle and comes back. It's that little guy again. Oh man, they look so cool. They look like spaceships with eyes. All right, we're gonna go to the next tank now. All right, uh, this tank, slightly smaller, I'm guessing 60 gallons. These guys do not look like they're doing too hot. They both have cloudy eyes on one side at least. That one looks like it doesn't even have an eye. I wonder if that's genetic or something because it's both on the left, the right side, their eyes are messed up. Again, I don't know what these are. Their left eyes seem okay. Oh, they have eyelids. That's weird. Never seen a fish with eyelids before. Yeah, I wonder if that eye stuff is like genetic because it's both their left eyes are deformed. Probably inbred or something. 
yeah, these fish are about a foot long. I would definitely be giving them a bigger tank if I was keeping them. But they seem not in terrible shape. I don't know if their spines are supposed to be bent like that or if that's a result of stunting because I don't know the species, so. All right, moving on. Got a bunch of jellyfish. Honestly, to me, this looks like food. Chinese people eat jellyfish and it tastes good. <laughs> I just want to go in there and eat them. Oh, these ones are cool. Their little fins look like blood. I drew this jellyfish before in that, uh, I don't know if you guys saw the video where I showed my art, but if you did, it was the one where I drew all the jellyfish to look like mushrooms growing on a log, like overlapping each other. So pretty cool. Are blue. I wonder if they dye them or something, or if it's something they feed them. It's pretty strange. Let's see what else we got. Anything? Nope. Whole bunch of nothing. We're going into this. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a painting of like some science fiction world. Okay, we got a little bedroom set up. Full of tanks, I think these are called. Again, not a saltwater guy. Most of them are hiding in the corner. Oh, look at this. Look at her pants. You pants look identical. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna take a break for a minute and help with the kid, and then I'll show you guys some more stuff. All right, now we're in the shark zone. We got this big jellyfish tank, bow front tank. A few hundred gallons, maybe more, I don't know. It's hard to judge a bow front tank. Full of jellyfish with a changing light. It's pretty cool. Over there we got sharks and stuff. More little jellyfish. These tentacles are wild. Do not want those wrapped around your leg while you're trying to swim. It's pretty graceful. Alright, we're gonna go to the next tank. Nice marine rays, look at these things. like winged dolphins. It's pretty cool. All right, let's go to the next thing. This is 
the far end of that tank. Look at the extension on that dude's dorsal fin. This little, little fish down here. That's a different kind of ray up there. Looks like. There's two of them. They're hiding. I guess they don't like people as much. Oh, there he goes. Oh, look at that. Dang, that's super cool. Thanks, buddy. Did you see those ones? They're di there's a different kind up in the corner. I feel, I mean, I don't know that much about rays, but I feel like these guys have a pretty good habitat. They seem to have plenty of room to swim around and they don't like look diseased or stressed or anything. I don't know. I've never even seen this kind of ray before. These weird dolphin looking dudes. Look at that. Alright, we're gonna go to the shark tank next. That's right next to me. All right, guys, here's the sharks. I guess sometimes they have a dude that goes down in there to like do a performance, but today there's no performances because we're in like the low season. I think he f goes, or she, I guess, whoever, the person goes in there and feeds them from inside the, the cage. These guys look like they're five to six feet long. Slightly smaller than me in length, and oh, I'm not even paying attention to what I'm filming. I'm just looking off the camera. Sorry. Slightly smaller than me, probably weigh the same amount as me. I don't know. That one back there is the biggest. In any case, I would not want to be tangling with one of these things in the water. They look sleek and very deadly. Alright, I think that's enough of the sharks. We can move on. Cool. There's an underwater tunnel with a moving walkway, which is turned off right now. But you go in here, and you're completely surrounded by water. 60 degrees of fish all around you. This is very cool. Whoa, look at these back here. This tank is huge. Oh, you know what? I bet this goes around and connects to that other tank. See those guys over there in the back? Those are the same fish we saw in the other tank. And look at this school up here. Those actually look kind of like sardines, I think. Oh, here's some more guys. This is super cool. Oh my gosh, look at that. I don't I mean, this probably looks bad on camera because of all the glass reflecting and lights and stuff, but... Dang, this is 
sweet. I hear a kid down the way shouting turtle, so there must be a sea turtle in here too. <laughs> Big old shark with with uh, cleaning fish on it, cleaning it. Holy crap! This tunnel is awesome. I was like, kind of feeling like, oh, is this worth my money? But sweet mother, this is tight. I don't think I've ever seen this many fish like around me this close before. Whoa. Look at all those fish. Whoa. What the hell is that? It's like a giant loach. It's like four and a half, five foot long. Loach or something. Oh man, here's another one. Look at this thing. Trying not to like get in all these other people's camera shots and stuff. What's up, big fella? A grunt, I guess. It's the name of this fish, according to this sign. Who knows if they have the English name right? Looks like a grunt. There's the shark. Look at those teeth. There's two of those little cleaner fish. Oh man. And they're not even little. Too many lights. Oh, it looks like there's a. Looks like my battery is gonna die, and looks like there's a guy in there working, cleaning or something. I think actually that's probably a woman based on the size of the body, but I don't know. Maybe it's a little dude. Oh man, this is so cool. It's like blowing my mind. These dudes up here. Oh, it is a dude. Look at this turtle! Dude, look at this one. He's freaking huge. Holy crap, these turtles are huge. My battery is gonna die and take me off because I'm in the middle of this tunnel. And my battery is gonna die. Oh man! Oh, look at this freaking tuna! Look at all that tuna! Mm -mm. That's good eating. Dude. 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 Look at that turtle! This turtle... Oh my gosh. His head is 8 inches long. There's another one. Yeah, this turtle is... I can't even get it in a shot. Like... I guess it's like chilling, climbing on the glass. What's up, dude? 
do that, I assume. At this size. Oh, here's another one. Also quite large. Man, this tuna school is huge. They're like all around us, like swimming a giant river of tuna. All around us, tuna everywhere. Tuna, tuna everywhere, and not a drop to eat. Who is this dude? Is that another grunt? I don't know what he is. He's different though, he's not a tuna. Man, they got some huge turtles. Look at that turtle down there. Looks like a boulder. Alright, I'm at 10% battery. We're entering another part of the tunnel. A coral reef. This dude's chilling on the glass. Got some brain corals and stuff. Another one of those crazy long dorsal fin fish. Who are these dudes? Is that guy up there? Nice. There's a school of those things that they had in the, the 65, 70 gallons earlier. Oh, this is so cool. These giant like leopard loach things are really awesome. Look at these guys. Whoa. Oh, they're so pretty. They're, they all look blind, they all have cataracts, but they're pretty. She's more interested in all the people here than the fish. <laughs> My baby's meeting the other babies. Oh man, imagine if you had to do maintenance on this tank. He's in here siphoning the substrate. This <laughs> is what a crappy job. These are pretty cool. They're like uh, yellow pectoral fins and anal fins and stuff. Oh, there's that shark. Whoa, that's not a shark, is it? What is that? No, that's that loach thing. Oh, there's the shark. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, 